Good morning, respected sisters, teachers, and my dear friends. My name is Shruti Adhikari from Class 7B, and today, on behalf of my group, I welcome you all to our skit presentation. The title of our skit is The Prodigal Daughter, and the characters are Swastika, dressed as Grandma, Ritvi, as Narrator 1, Asma, as Narrator 2, Marvinia, as Narrator 3, Shreya, as Granddaughter, Tiara, as mother, Zaharia as daughter, and myself, Shruti Adhikari, as the betrayer. Hope you all will enjoy the script. Thank you. Once in an old little vintage cottage, a old woman with a lot of tender care and love in her eyes was sitting near the cream chair, which was near a fireplace with warm clothes around her. She was along with her grandchildren, and her granddaughters were sitting on the wooden floor with biscuits and hot chocolate. It was chilly, frosty, cold afternoon when the sun was about to set. Everyone covered themselves with blanket. The youngest daughter insisted her grandmother to narrate a story. Grandma, can you please tell us a story? Yes, Grandma. I'm very excited to hear the story. Please. <clears throat> okay. Okay, then. I will narrate your story, which my grandmother used to narrate to me when I was a young girl. The story will teach you a life lesson and give you a moral. The two story which I'm going to read to you, its name is The Prodigal Dog. This story consists of two characters. First one is the wise mother and her irresponsible daughter. Let's begin with the story. The mother was a wise, responsible and cultural lady. In the other hand, her daughter was an irresponsible girl and yet she was not prepared for her life. The daughter wanted to leave the house, so she asked her mother for a lot of money. Mom, I am grown up enough. I want to gain my inheritance and live my life. But darling, what for? You are already living a good and prosperous life here. Why not? I want to live my life with wealthiness. Okay then. I wish you luck, my darling. But remember, money cannot buy happiness. The mother gave the amount to her daughter and the daughter started packing her stuffs for the journey. Her mother loved her and was disappointed about her leaving. She was concerned about what would happen to her darling one. The daughter was immature, arrogant and was not prepared to live responsibly. She had no concern about tomorrow and she lived only for the present. She had lots of money and spent it all on useless things. Everyone was admiring her wealth and wanted to be her friend. That did not last long. The daughter spent all her money in whimsical stuffs and her closed friends betrayed her. She neither had friends, money, food nor shelter. At last she found a job but it was the worst thing she had ever imagined. Oh my friend! I have granted you all my luxury. I would be grateful to you to get the job. I can serve you as my lord. Just grant me the job. I assure you, I will do my utter best. She begged, cried, starved and bored over her landlord. But she had worked too hard day and night. The money she earned by feeding the pigs wasn't enough to fill her stomach. You deserve this. No matter what you will make for this, you hopeless guy. I am hungry, my lord. In my culture, pigs are unclean, and touching them is considered to be miserable and unhonorable. I am starving, my lord. May I please get some food to eat? You don't even deserve the pig food. You better lead a starved life. The girl questioned herself. Why am I staying here? I'm lonely, hungry, cold and miserable. Why did I leave my house? I will go back, even if 
if I have to feed the pigs. I'd rather do it in my mother's house. Even if she's angry, I deserve it. I need to go back home. So she did. On the other way, she saw someone running towards her in a distance. Who is it? Oh, my daughter! I've missed you so much! But it looks like you didn't have a good journey. I was so worried about you. Oh, mother! I missed you so much! I shall never leave you again, mother! But I hope you've learned your lesson. Oh, yes, mother! And I promise to help others as you did! I love the orphans! And I want to share my wealth with others. Thank you, Mother, for this life lesson. I will always remember this. I love you, my child. Charity working, and she realized that her family was her world and everything for her. The story which you heard today will teach you a lesson. And what is the lesson you know that? It is that the art of giving and sharing is the true essence of life. Always remember that, okay? Aspa Miraj Khan from Class 7B. And today, on behalf of my team, I'm thanking you all for watching the skit. Hope you all enjoyed it.